am. But what we see is we've totally lost the Worcestershire beacon. I'm just wondering what it's going to be like when I get up there. Right. The heavens have opened and the rain came down. It seems to be easing a bit now. Oh no, it's still working. Okay. So just stopping for a little snack and shelter. I've just taken this opportunity to stop while it's stopped raining to uh, just point out this here, really good view of these hills. This is Chase Evans Hill, my first hill. Now this one, I'm never sure what it's called. I think it might be called Ragged Stone or Ragged Rock or something like that. I'll have to really look it up. It's not marked on the map. And then thirdly, one of my favourite hills in the Malverns, uh, Midsummer's Hill, which is actually a um, another Iron Age hill fort. And then we go on to look towards the Herefordshire Beacon, the Mo uh, no, yeah, the Herefordshire Beacon, and British Camp, which is the most uh, notable and known of all the hills. Actually, you can just make it out, I think. And then, in the cloud, where is it? I think we can see the Worcestershire Beacon. So there they are, they're the Mulvans. Let's go and try and climb them. Why is it when you see something fantastic the camera's always in the bag. Right, I'll tell you about it instead. Just seen a beautiful buzzard again. I've been seeing a few of them today. Um, just along this tree line as we climb up to Chase End Hill. Um, and in this field, there were a pair of pheasants. But I didn't see them. They were virtually ooh, three or four metres away from me. Just amazing to see them so close, but I couldn't get the camera out in time, unfortunately. So, I'll just have to tell you about it. This wood is a very special wood to me. Um, this is a place I come um, to remember, remember my mum. She never got to come on to the Malverns when, uh, when we moved down to Dukesbury. We only discovered them after she'd gone. Um, so on the anniversary of her, her death, I came here and I planted a snowdrop in her memory so that I'd have somewhere near to, to my home in Dukesbury that I could come and remember her. And at last, I'm climbing Chase End Hill on the Mulvern. How far I'll go, I don't know. Let's see. As I approach the top of Chase End Hill, I'm just going to take a moment to look around and look at the views we've got here. The most southerly of the Malverns, this is. And we're just looking on to the next hill. And there in the distance, quite a quite an enchanting sight when I first saw it. The obelisk uh, memorial at in East Snow Castle grounds. We go and have a look at East Snow Castle now. Looking over, looking over towards Hereford now. Ah, there's East Snow Castle. Very nice. Okay. Of course, beyond these hills in Herefordshire lies Wales. And at one time, one time, I'm sure we can see down to the Beacon Beacons there. At one time, of course, the Mulvans were the, the boundary between England and Wales. 
looking over this countryside not long ago we were down at oh I always forget the name of this one at Mayhill that's it Mayhill in the forest of Dean walking back up towards Tewkesbury so I'm looking down over where the where the seven lies now. What a what a view. Okay, so if we now look, um, let's have a look. Should be able to see the Cotswolds out there. And the nearest one would be Cleve Hill. In that might be it. So we've got a lump of hills there. Just have a little look. Um, yeah. So we've also got this this hill here, which is where I came past on my way uh, with the radio mast on top. And nearby that, you should be able to see. Tewkesbury Abbey somewhere, let's have a little look and see if we can see it. Is that it? There we are. And my home in Tewkesbury. And then we look up and we see Breeden Hill. Behind Breeden, Winchcombe and so forth. I must say this was easier to go up than it is to go down. I'm having trouble standing up here. Still. That's what I wanted to know. Ragged stone. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Sunshine in my eyes can make me cry. Sunshine on the water looks so lovely. Sunshine nearly always makes me high. Ragged Stone Hill, it's official. <sighs> what a climb up there. It has been beautiful. I love all the rocks up here. Probably why it's called Ragged Stone. <sighs> These are hills are littered with quarries. There we are. White and naved oak. Bolt. Huh. Interesting. Oh, wait. There's the second peak. I just met a lady coming down who says it's easier to climb up that peak. From the north, is it? Or is it from the east? Hmm. Don't know, never tried it. There we are. There you go, and there's our peak. There's East Snow Monument. Just looking up towards the north. Towards um, Midsummer's Hill. 
just beyond it, you may be able to see. Let's have a look. Where is it? Haha. Let's zoom in. What's that then? And could that be the Worcestershire beacon over the top of the others? Look at that. It doesn't look like the Herefordshire beacon. Just looking out over towards Ledbury and Hereford. Sure. Over the East North State. We want to walk back to uh, Ledbury to the East North State. It's beautiful. And now we get to see the Gullet Quarry. Just in, at the bottom of Summers Hill. I think I, I may walk up near there. So the Coal Quarries. Right, we're just walking up through the woods by the side of a quarry on the Mulvans. It's not, as I said, the Gullet Quarry. It's another quarry, but it's a quarry. Just going up onto Midsummer's Hill and the Gullet Quarry is actually in between Midsummer's Hill and the next set of hills that run up to the Herefordshire Beacon or British Camp. Just knowing the quarry face is there behind these trees, beyond these trees, overgrown and untouched, is quite an enchanting thought. Right, here's the top, Midsummer's Hill. There you go, the concrete bus shelter on the top. It, uh, it's quite a nice shelter though to get out of the wind and the rain when it's wet up here. <laughs> 